Good afternoon, everyone. Another box of Star Wars Masterwork. This is technically break number three, but Mark Glassman got all the spots, saving me uh, and the shipping team a little bit of work. There you go, Mark. Break number three for you. Let's uh, generate a number for you. We did a couple boxes already. We still have one, two, three, four, five, and eight left. So let's generate a number for you. Boop. Two. Box two. So all of these are for you. Good luck. I mean, that rendition was so good. We, uh, we might get copyright strikes on this video, Mark. All right, here we go. So we were discussing value on this just off camera or off the recording, but a lot of value, especially for the bigger names. I think most of the hits, like an autograph of most of these characters should get you uh, the cost of admission back. And obviously some low numbered hits, any hits of the, the more uh, popular characters from the main movies will also help get cost of admission back. Uh, we're joined by Jim O'Reilly, who's done some sketch cards for a lot of Topps releases and, and uh, among other releases as well. But the sketch cards themselves usually will basically, you know, sketch cards usually go for a couple hundred bucks a pop pretty much really easily. If it's a more popular character, then a lot more than that. All right, Mark, thanks for grabbing this box. Good luck. So we're going to go through all these first, and then we'll go through all of your hits later. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. These blue perils not numbered. Rebellion's first victory. Nice, and Rogue One, which was enjoyable to watch. There's Stormtrooper to 99. Five out of 99. No longer clones, I believe. Starting from Force Awakens, no longer clones. I think they just uh, like uh, like guerrilla marauders in Africa. They're just they're like child soldiers. I think they're stolen from their homes now. It's terrible, terrible first order. Uh, this is from Star Wars Rebels Grand Inquisitor, which is a great show. I would highly recommend Rebels, Star Wars Rebels to everyone. It's on Disney XD. What else? What else do we have here? There's a film cell back here. All sorts of extra stuff here. All right, there's Mon Mothma. And there's Zeb from Star Wars Rebels. He was originally supposed to be, um, he was originally supposed to be uh, what Chewbacca was supposed to look like back in the day. But they used him for Star Wars Rebels instead. There's Luke. And uh, nice. I haven't seen one of these yet. The Rebel engages. 66 out of 99. What's funny is that uh, I th believe this image right here. Uh, is from a scene that wasn't in the movie. It was one of the scenes that got cut in Rogue One. I don't think she was ever in handcuffs, right? Think about it. All right, and a film cell. Return of the Jedi film cell. Arriving at Jabba's palace. Uh, Prism triple uh, ten buck breaks will break open after we do uh, five breaks of archives postseason. A break of luminaries. And whatever else after that. So it's going to, we're, we're pretty backed up. So appreciate everyone's patience on this. We're just going to pound through these breaks one by one. Some nice base cards here. There's K2SO. And he will reveal. Wow. Look at that. That's almost like some acrylic work or something like that. That is awesome. That's a cool sketch card. That is awesome. All right, Poe Dameron reveals Brian Herring as BB-8. Nice, BB-8. Total money grab by Disney 
but it totally worked. I don't know if pores are going to work the same way, but BB-8, great call. There's evil B... Sorry, spoiler alert, but evil BB-8 coming up in the next movie. And David Accord, the voice of the Drio Two Tubes. Nice, from Rogue One. And there you have it, Mark Glassman, Boombox. Nice box of Star Wars masterwork for you. There you go. May the Force be with you. We'll see you for the next one next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.